Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Journeyman Save. We are currently in uh, Volin Lutsk in the Ukraine, and this was the Ukrainian Cup quarterfinals, I believe. Quarterfinals, pretty sure, against Dynamo Kiev. You can see we are scoreless, and we are going to penalties. So the first shot. Sutyu goes in and gives Dynamo a 1-0 lead. Robinson bounces it off the woodwork. Should have put it in, and it's a miss. And things are looking bad for the good guys. But there's a save right down the middle to Heidenreich. So we are looking positive there. Makarov, and it's a save as well. So we have missed two in a row. Not good. That puts them up 2-0 after their third shooter. And Teruya, uh, and he just kept their foot keeper flat-footed, keeps us alive. And here's an important one, and he bounces it off the woodwork, and it goes away. That gives us a chance. Radinov puts it in the corner, and that equalizes us two goals apiece in the shootout. Another one right down the middle. Heidenreich doesn't even have to move. And they didn't show the goal, but uh, Tarasenko scored. And that gave us the 3-2 advantage on penalties. That's weird that they didn't show that, <laughs> the winning goal. But uh, we advance on penalties. Also, just to catch you up to date, we've just had uh, two games since then. Uh, Maripool, uh, we lost 1-0, so our first loss in quite a while, and that keeps us in second place, six points behind Shakhtar, so I'm losing grip on any hope that we can win the league this year. And uh, I did mention last episode that the game had kind of threw a fastball by me, so sometimes I'll go on vacation, like during the week between matches, because there's if there's nothing going on. I had turned down several, like two contract offers this year, because I was going to kind of, you know, play hardball and you do do the Bielsa thing and not do a contract till the end of the year, decide what I wanted to do. And I went on vacation because I hadn't played in a while, as I mentioned, then I got sidetracked. And they, uh, the uh, the game put a uh, three-year contract on me. And, of course, if you're on vacation, it accepts that. Now, there are some other games out there. Uh, the one that comes to mind is out-of-the-park baseball. And it's just as detailed, in my opinion, as football manager. Um, but what it does is... You can set it up that any time that you're on a break of for whatever reason, if you get an email that requires a response, it will stop the simulation. So if you even if you take a three year vacation, you know, like I do, you know, we did this as a plus 30. So I do five years at a time, which is the max you can do. And I just vacation for five years and let the game let the game run. Well, you could do that while you're playing. And anything that would come in, it would give you, it would stop the simulation and at that moment give you a chance to react. So if you got a contract offer, it would, you, it would stop. Even if it was day two of a six day vacation, it would stop. You'd have the email and then you'd be able to make the decision. I don't know why Football Manager doesn't do that. I've put that suggestion up many times over the years. And they've never done that. So I think that's a shortcoming in the game. Um, because they would never, you know, you would never sign a contract without looking at it. Uh, but they force that on you uh, if you go that route. Oh, well, we have uh, we have a couple of more matches to get through. We've got a big match with Ingolitz. I'd like to do that one. But I think the uh, semifinal is more important. So uh, we'll have highlights from uh, Nantes and uh, in just a second, and then we'll have the uh, other match against Nantes uh, to close out the video. So we'll see you guys in just a second. 
All right, we are traveling the perfect trip, 1,234 miles to France. There's a corner to the near post, and Radanov puts it in. And that's a 1-0 advantage, and that would stand up. 22 shots to only 6 for Nantes in this one. We tweaked our tactic. We went back to, well, we didn't tweak it. We went to another tactic. We went to the 4-4-2, uh, where we had the more uh, deep deep lying uh, defender uh, to give us a little bit more defense there and it worked out well 14 key passes for Kaczynski so we're going to tell him his passing oh wow okay okay hey you know what there you go buddy I think maybe I need to ship you off my team having an attitude bud don't tolerate that kind of crap. We've got a lot of things going on. Um, the one goal, I think, equals the Euro goal tally. I think we're on 45 goals for the tournament or for the competition, and that equals the mark, uh, all-time mark. So we're one goal away in the next leg of breaking that. And then Heidenreich now has 17 shutouts on the season, which has equaled the club mark, and one more this year will break the club mark for shutouts. All right, we've got one more match off camera, and so we will be doing that one, and we'll be back for the second leg of Nantes here in just a second. So to catch us up here, so we saw the penalty shootout. Ingolets, we beat 1-0. Uh, we saw the highlight from the Nantes game, and we had a 2-2 draw on my birthday with uh, KKR, Robinson, and Makarov with the goals stoppage time goal to get the equalizer. And we're back for Nantes today. Now, we have secured a top four finish in the league, which automatically qualifies us for Euro 2 next season. So that's the good news but we can still qualify for Champions League. So got a lot to play for. A lot of games in here I would like to show us, but just, you know, just not really able. I think what we're going to do, just kind of getting ahead of things here, I think we've got to play the Shakhtar game on camera because they're the club in front of us. And then maybe we come back for Michael Ave for the highlights. And if... Champions League's on the line. Maybe we do a season-ending double match episode. No, we haven't done that much of the, you know this year, this season, because we've gone to the one match plus highlights. By the way, let me know in the comments, how are you guys liking that? It's kind of been a full season now. So do you like the one, one match, one, you know, one highlight, uh, or do you want to go back to two matches? Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. And... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll look at that. So let's look at team selection. We're going to be going with Heidenreich in goal. Basically, it's the same team. Tarasenko is back at right back, uh, or he's playing there. Yarmolenko is a fitness concern, so he's not in the side. Vera is still out another month, so uh, hopefully we get him back for end of season. And you can see uh, Robinson and Camps are sitting on a combined 30 goals, still two goals behind Vera on the season. All right, let's motivate him with the complacency talk. And we are white, Nantes in the yellow. They have traveled the 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's 1,234 miles from Nantes to Volin. So we made the trip in the first leg. They are making the return trip. Erlong makes a run, and oh, it was sitting there so tantalizing. So tantalizing. Teruya, corner. Going at the near post, knocked away. We'll have another corner. little farther out furlong grabs it oh and it just goes wide from lyoka he's cooled off lately let's encourage him
Mazarenko. Back to Tarasenko. There's a lot of O's in here. Except for him, Bidney. He's not an O. <laughs> Laoka. Come on, guys. Break him down. Well, there's a nice drop in. Krachinski takes the shot. Good block. And the good thing is we're picking the ball up, you know, at at midfield or just on their side. So that's good. Camps, was it knocked wide by a defender? It looks like it. So we'll have yet another corner. All right, we give them some encouragement. That one's cleared. Now Dennis has a counter opportunity. David's making a run. Furlong is caught out of position. Oh my goodness. Little bicycle style kick. Laolka's out of position on that. Oh, we are not looking good defensively here. Come on, boys. They pick up a corner. Oh, there's a chest down. Offsides. Hello. Hello. Oh, and that goes across and into the far post. Juan Young Juan, his ninth of the season. There's an equalizer and an away goal. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to have to demand more. I did go back to our standard tactic. A little concerned about that. Azarenko up to Lyoka. Plays it out to Kerchinski. And it's knocked away for a corner. Hmm. He is just too quick for our defender there. But he just chips it down into our end. That's like icing the puck, right? I don't know anything about hockey. Oh, nice ball out. And there it is. Oh, come on. We're going to have to get one of those to drop. Demand more. Six shots, three on target for us. Three shots, three on target for them. Oh, goodness. Could we be heading to penalties? That would be... I'm going to point the finger. This is where we could use Vera. Oh, knocked away. Too heavy on the touch there, fellas. Uh, let's, uh, let's tell them to focus. Furlong. Cleared out. Mazarenko's there. And loses it. Gets it back. Oh, there's a nice little one-two. And knocked away. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, it's sent wide by Mazarenko. He had a free shot. All right, let's... Uh... I'm going to go work the ball into the box. Yeah, our heading is not great, so I'm going to keep it on low crosses. That's all I want to do here. Just to see if we can build up some better shots. Because we're having shots, just not a lot on target. And we don't have anything happening here. Um, all right. Camps. He's nervous, Teruya. I'm going to drop Camps back to the number 10. And Teruya, we're going to pull off for Meyer. Uh, Meyer, he was the lowest paid player on the club. And he started, he's played a good bit this year. And so his, uh, 
his agent came in and asked for a new deal. So he went from 3.3K a month to nine and a quarter a month. So he got a nice raise. Shoots from distance, knocks ball past opponent, runs often. So I think that'll be a good move for him. And Lyoka, don't have anybody on that right wing, do I? Well, Tarashenko can play mid-left. And he's only left-footed. Our other winger, Kaczynski, is left only. So if I put him out there for Lyoka, and then we make him an inverted winger, then he cuts in and can use his better foot, right? No, wrong guy. Wrong guy. So let's make him an inverted winger. There you go. Oh, goodness. All right, let's, uh, let's encourage him. Whoa, we got a blackout, power outage. All right, there's Camps, dropping back to that number 10 roll. Plays it through. Robinson can't get there. And we've got black shirts. I don't know what happened. We went, we had a blackout. Some of the people change from white shirts to black shirts. All right, no, no, we're still in black shirts. Interesting. That's that's a weird glitch, huh? I don't remember that being a problem in any other version of the game. I think this I think that'll you know that will reset probably next match, but I, I don't know how to I don't know what the deal is. That's that's interesting. Ooh, that was almost out of play. Come on boys. Need somebody to do something. The pressure. Put the pressure. And they are a triangle machine, aren't they? Gee whiz. Uh-oh, there's a big run. Oh, my goodness. And they pull it out. Wow, what was that? It's so weird, half the team being in a different color kit. All right, there's Camps. Arashenko. All right, we're showing some triangle ability of our own. Oh, there's a nice run in, Meyer! And I think it went off of Meyer on the deflection. Oh, Camp's got the ball there. Couldn't pull a shot, though. There's one! Oh, and Rezik. All right, let's take a quick look. Is there not a way for me to see stats here? I mean, that's one of our best guys. Robinson, I'm going to bring on McCaleb. He scored a goal last time we, we played him. There's a shot! Oh my god, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Oh no. And, hold on. We're going to take off work in the box. I need them popping shots now. Do I go attacking? I don't think so. All right, there's a header. Tarashenko, does he have a breakaway here? Somebody get up there and give him an outlet. He is not the guy to be up there by himself. He's fighting for it. Oh, he's taken down hard in the box. Is it a penalty? Uh, it's got to be a penalty. And it is a penalty. Who's taking it? Kerchinsky. I don't know what his penalty taking is. 
He slots it in, and there's the equalizer, and that puts us back up two to one on aggregate. That could be huge. I'm going to drop back to balanced here. Oh, he slots it home. Very, very nice. Uh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to pause this. I am going to drop. I'm going to drop here. Now, Camps. Camps can play mid-center. He can. McCaleb can play mid-center. He's a good passer. He can't mark. He can't mark either. But McCaleb is a better passer of the ball. So let's put him there. Mazarenko can defend, so that's a good spot for him. I like it. I like it. I feel semi-confident about it. Focus. Four minutes of stoppage time. Counter opportunity. We've got defenders back, but they are pushing forward. Oh, my God, no. Saved at the near post by Heidenreich. The, the heart here, man. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that one's headed clear. Camps, can you get to it? No, Doc Dong Wok gets there first, but Tarasenko picks up the loose ball. There's a big ball deep. Meyer tries to run onto it. The keeper has to come out of the box to make the play. Erlong, oh, what a nice volley, and we got a little lucky there. Run the clock, boys. Run the clock. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Help us out. There it is. 2-1 on aggregate. I hope. I think so. Yes. Outstretched arms. Congratulations. Yay. Oh, my God. That's cool. All right. So, yes, 2-1 on aggregate. We get $941,000. That's huge. And we will be heading to, yeah, that place, the sports complex. Very happy. We will play AZ Alkmaar. They are fifth in the Arita VC. So that's good. And they're a top level. That's a top level uh, league. In fact, that's our other save, right? Our club's not in there, but... Uh, that is our other. So they're eleventh. What what league are we in? Where are we at? Yeah, I think we're much lower. No, we're actually tenth. Hey, all right. So that'll be a big final. So let's see when that is slated for. That will be end of the season. So I think. I think. I think we come back for a double dose of silverware or at least silverware opportunity. Let's come back and play Shakhtar in the Ukrainian Cup Final, and then we'll come back and play AZ in the Euro Cup 2 Final. That'll be next episode, so a chance at two pieces of silverware. And we'll also wrap up the Premier League and see how we end up the season there. Now, I'm not expecting to catch them. We're eight back with four to play, so 12 points. I don't think there's any way we catch them. I don't think there's any way we catch them. So I think the league is out of our grasp, but what we are playing for, what's the rules here? If we finish second, then we actually go into Champions League, and we are six points up there with 12 to play. So feasibly... One more match with our goal differential could secure that for us, I would think. We'll see. We'll see. Now, do we have any... Yeah, we have Corona Moretz 
Are they one of the clubs that we're challenging here? No, they're they're looking to get into the hunt. We're resetting. All right. So yeah. Anyway, Shakhtar, AZ, two trophies, no trophies, one trophies. I think if we win a trophy, we're definitely done here. That's my thinking. Two seasons, but we'll talk about that end of the season. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe. You know what to do. Do it for me. Help me out. We'll talk to you later. Bye.